I... I was... murdered. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. What? Louder? <laughs> a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to their granny. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here, so I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lord, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lana doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it, then. Lana, what do you know about Dr. Prey? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Ooh, the meditation room. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. The police are here! Sorry to keep you waiting! Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you the uh, to the crime s to the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shoe? Um, my name isn't Jim Shoe. The two of them went to the challenge chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Go to the side room and have something happen. Perhaps. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please, stay calm, but a murder has taken place. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, the person has killed another person! Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's, like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Miney. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. 
So what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. Then why are you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good? Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds? They, like, must have put some in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep? I totally feel like I wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, nah. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? That's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah? She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Uh, we'll have to save that little project for later. There's no one here, as usual. Uh, hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. Hmm? What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. So we try to talk, and... Um... She just runs off. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? Alright, let's move to the meditation room. And actually move to the crime scene itself. The police are busily running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal, I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? So let's talk Maya. Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about it later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead! But... What? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife! A knife? After being stabbed, the final blow was a shot from a gun. Alright, if I remember correctly... I either need to go back to Winding Way... No, I need to go to the, uh... Shoot, I completely forgot where I need to, to go. Pretty sure I need to go to Kirin Village, actually. Yeah, here we go. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right near her. Lana? God, don't let it be me next! Eek, don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands! Mine! Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you? This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff. 
So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore? What's up? Oh yeah! What is it? I took some high pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. And she did, too, even. A seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta? Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Ain't to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to scoop of the sand tree. And she just... Walks, it runs into the place like a crazed person. I don't know who's scarier, Lana or the spirits. And why does it feel like we've been through this before? Oh, dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Hey, why is all the buzz? Ahem. All right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm gonna give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not gonna be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. The next morning. Ugh, ugh, morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Nick! Nick! I... Maya! What am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. I was too weak. And I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. So you're the master or something of the Curane School of Channeling. Actually, my mother is, for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real. That it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling its spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channel. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. 
I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait! This jewel. This is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to Wright and Company Law Offices first. Whew, it feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right! Where is that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's gonna be of any help. Oh, but it will be of help, trust me. Trust me on that. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. The world happened in that room yesterday. So we move back to the meditation room. The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Let's go to the channeling chamber. It looks like Detective Gumshoe is in here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check his room. I'm gonna check this room, rather. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue, and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir! She is one scary lady. Oh, dear sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions, too, while I have the chance. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. By the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent in revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, was that, her fir that was her first challenge. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. 
I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that is? It is that folding screen there. It is the Curane Sacred Writings. Along with the Curane Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the inhumanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different! Her spiritual strength is so great, even greater than some of the main family! Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and is the pride of the branch family! Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. This is... It's a hole! Could this have been made by a bullet? That may play a factor. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. Ah. It's like, jeez, man. Back to Winding Way. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Actually, wait, am I supposed to actually go in the side room? Shit. I'm trying to remember the order of this here.